Thank you very much indeed. Uh, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I feel privileged and honored to be here with all of you this afternoon to welcome the brave men and women, activists and human rights defenders from all around the world who bring their cases to Geneva in hope to make circumstances in their countries better and perhaps to make the world better, despite of what they often face, harassment, persecution, silencing, or even the risk of being killed. I share their hope, and I thank the UN Watch for organizing this gathering. It's my first Geneva summit, but I know how unique event it is, and I understand its logic of being a forerunner of the Human Rights Council providing strong impulses for our deliberations starting next week. We need these impulses. Your work is integral part of the overall human rights architecture and supports its legitimacy. Especially now, as we see how the space for civil society is shrinking in many parts of the world through restrictive laws and through crackdowns on you on dissidents. In Czech Republic, we try to do our little part of the job of changing this. The Czech Republic is fully aware of the importance of independent civil society. We have supported and will continue to support human rights defenders and NGOs at risk through concrete action at many levels. The support of civil society and human rights defenders is one of the thematic priorities of our human rights foreign policy strategy, which was adopted last year. I'm convinced that this Geneva summit will be a success and will send to the Council strong messages. And finally, I wish you and all your colleagues, the, the activists and defenders, the needed strength and courage to keep advancing human rights at home and worldwide. Thank you.